All right, we're here today to install the new laptop screen on an Inspiron Mini 10. I ordered the screen from laptop or uh, laptopscreen.com. I've already taken it apart the first time, so I can double check which screen you need because this connector for the ribbon cable is in different places for different models. So I recommend you do that. Uh, to take the screen apart, basically there's two sticky little covers that go over the screws to hide them. On mine, they're at the bottom. So that'll take off the faceplate. And you're going to have to pry it around it in some places, and that's just fine. It shouldn't break on you. After you get there, you're going to see there's some screws here, 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 and here. Once that pops off, the back plate will kind of fall down, and then there's screws on the side that hold the actual screen in. And on the back, there is a ribbon cable. Once you've taken it apart, it's pretty obvious how to put it back together. Uh, this is the new one I got in the mail. This is the old one. You can see it's in the same spot. That's the main thing you need to make sure of. So basically, I'm just going to go through the steps to put it back together. First thing you want to do is connect the ribbon cable. You could connect the screws first, but me personally, I have trouble with ribbon cables sometimes. So I'm going to give myself the most flexibility as possible. It just snaps in on the back. The one good thing I'll say about this is there is a positive engagement where you can hear it. And that should let you know so you don't pull too hard and you don't put it back together and your screen doesn't turn on. So first thing I'm going to do is get the side connectors back on. Always try to uh, place your screws in a zip top bag or a, a, a zip bag or something to keep them while you're waiting on the new screen to come in. Shipping was fast though, so it wasn't that long. You have a set of jeweler screwdrivers. That'll help. Now I'm going to leave the cover on so I don't scratch it, but I am going to see if I can remove the tape, at least from the back part. Uh, it's going to come off the whole way. So from here on out, just be careful not to scratch your screen. I'll line one of these up. Once one I'm lined up, the rest should be pretty easy. This is actually one of the easier screens to replace. At least that I'm done. Now I made the mistake and didn't separate my screws, so you want to make sure you're putting the right ones back where you got them, but it'll be obvious because the wrong ones don't fit. Okay, I'm going to double check my ribbon connector on the back, but it looks like it's on there pretty good. Next step will be the screws around the sides. This back cover, if you don't hold it, it surely likes to just flop down. And I'm afraid I'll ruin the connectors. There's two connectors that the cable on the back goes to. One to the screen and one up here that looks like it goes to the webcam function.
of course on the screws don't go don't go very tight just snug them this guy just snaps back on in all the right places some of them may be a little tricky Quick look down the side will tell you if you got it right or not. And now we just have two screws left. Kept your black covers. You can place them back over. If not, it's no big deal. And that's how it's done. Okay, as you can see, it's turning right on. I had no problems. Just had to find the power cord. And of course, when you're messing with this type of electronics, take the battery out first just in case. But got no problems. So that's how you replace your screen.